Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim. I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are in the world. It's snowing right now uh, in central Illinois. It's not expected to accumulate like our brother Greg Jackson is experiencing and others of this channel family in Colorado, but it's snowing nevertheless. The grands are real excited. So I told them they're they're all getting uh, finished getting cleaned up. Mimi and I are taking them with us. We're going to go do a delivery to Crisis Pregnancy Center uh, and get some neat stuff in as weather is changing. So uh, we'll be doing that this morning. But I wanted to share with you. I don't usually share other people's dreams. Our brother, God's messenger, shared with me. And I love this young man. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, I've shared it before. I encourage you to do so. He is a grace believer, a grace teacher. And he just, he, it, I realize that different people are drawn to different channels. So I give endorsements for those channels that I, I believe they speak the truth and they share information and they're encouraging and he is an encouraging brother. I'll be sharing one later that Brother Greg shared with me. Um, so I'll be posting that channel that I'm going to endorse as well. Watch some of his videos. Anyway, God's messenger, his dream. And I, I listened also. It really, I received that message from from our dear brother, and then I saw a video from Princess Carly. You might want to watch that one as well on um, the earthquake that she believes is coming and the timing we're in. Anyway, God's messenger dream. This was powerful. It really grabbed me. So he saw what looked like swirling towers of tornado, but they didn't have clouds and they were illuminated inside and they were going right up to the sky. Now, I don't know when I got the first rapture dream that was similar that I shared maybe a year ago, um, where it was like this tunnel of light and it was so brilliant and we are caught up so quickly. And I have that dream often actually and my wife will typically be the one to wake me up. And I'm so disappointed when I wake up. I don't see the Lord there, but I, I can actually feel, it's an amazing feeling. And then I know we're together and, and it's wonderful. Well, anyway, our brother, God's messenger, had, he saw those tunnels, those towers that went right up to the sky. They were illuminated inside and, you know, I believe that's representative of the rapture of the church. Now, I'm not fear-mongering, nor is he. I'm sharing a dream that I believe to be true. I love this brother, and um, nor are we saying it's today. We know that the rapture is imminent. We still must occupy and redeem the time and live our lives. I've already prayed, prayed protection over this channel family, and... Um, because we know what's going on today. I don't even want to go there. I've already sounded that alarm. Then, additionally, to, the, to these really fast wind tunnels that are illuminated inside, he literally saw. Now, remember, he's not, he does not live in the United States of America, but he saw the west coast of the United States of America completely crack off and sink into the ocean. Um, he believes it was probably an earthquake, but he's, but as he saw it in his dream and he heard, what was it that he said he heard? He heard the word Cascadia. This was in his dream. And then in his dream, he heard Cascadia. And then he heard the rumble and it literally sunk into the sea. So he had two things. Now, what's interesting is I've had this, I've had the dream where as we're caught up, as we go up, they come down. I don't know what they are, but, um, I, and I see fire. I don't know if it's nuclear bombs, natural disaster, who knows? Really interesting. Last night at youth group, I shared about a young man, 17 years old, on fire for God. I, I still, even though I'm a lead pastor, I still lead the senior youth in our church. And um, 
this young man, he is, oh, he is such a, he's so on fire. And he's so excited about events that he's seeing and visions and dreams. And he, he said to me, he said, Pastor Tim, I see fire from the ground and fire from above. Do you think that's nuclear? Excuse me. And I said, I believe that it very well could be nuclear. But the important thing, because we know the magma, we know the volcanoes, we know everything. What's important is that you know that you're seeing the signs of the time. And this is what he said. And this really blessed me because I, you know, I'm teaching the kids. You've, we have to be careful what we tell them. You know, we don't, these are young people. We don't want them going home. We want them to know the truth, but we don't want them going home and, and, you know, fearing what I, what I really bring to them is the gospel of grace. We want, we want to see them believe on the Son of God. Amen? The nanosecond, they admit they're sinners in need of a Savior and believe they are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. The ABCs of salvation will be in the description box. Well, this young man, he said, I know, he said, I know. He said, but I'm so excited that, that we're going to be with Jesus. Like, the, the other youth, it was almost contagious. It's like they all, I, I mean, they were like, yeah, yeah, we're going to be with Jesus. It was so unbelievable. It, it, it's like he was a spark that just set them aflame with the anticipation and the excitement. And then, of course, we talked about, now, what do we do? We we must proclaim the gospel of grace and, and allow Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us. Stay in the word, stay in prayer, and praise God Look up and rejoice for our redemption draws nigh. But it was just such a blessing. So between God's messenger dream, what this young man, I don't want to say his name because I don't have permission, what he's what he shared at youth group and what Princess Carly shared today, I'm like, glory to God. You know, this is this is our blessed hope. And so that shouldn't be something that we hide and put the covers over our head or stick our head in the sand. And this is the message that the Lord has been prompting me to share. We must occupy and redeem the time. And occupy does not mean sitting by idly. What is it that the Lord has for you in these final moments of the end of days to do? Now do it and remember this, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Greater is he who's in you than he who's in the world. And the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead abides in you. You have resurrection power in you, and you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Well, I want to give you a blessing before I let you go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his countenance be lifted on you and his shalom, his peace, perfect, whole, complete, nothing lacking, nothing missing, be yours in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I pray and I bless you. God bless you guys and have an awesome rest of your day. Shalom.